What's up, y'all? It's me, LSP. Good Thursday morning to you, or Friday, Juniors. We like to call it over here at LSP Productions. No graphics today, y'all. I'm on vacation. So I'm going to edit this video on my phone, upload it from my phone. So if you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button, join the fam, and uh, give me that old thumbs up. Let me know you're out there watching. Let's get right at this, my friends. We will be having Connor Wednesday starting next week. But because I had weight loss vlog in the in the can, we had to release that yesterday. All right. So starting next Wednesday, we'll be talking about the Connors on Wednesdays. So let's get right at it. All right. I know I said it. Let's do it. Um, what did you think? What did you think about Roseanne? I had all the feels, the feelings that I thought I was going to have about it. Um, going into it, you know, it was it felt weird. It was honestly like going to a repass, you know, for me. It was losing someone who wasn't very close to me, so I was just there to support the people, you know. So anyway, as it started, you know, it was sad, and um, Roseanne did indeed die from opioids. Huh? Like, wow. Wow, that's... It was almost... I, I'm kind of torn right there because it's like... Are they trying too hard to stay relevant? You know, to make sure they're on top of everything. Because as I said before, I felt like Roseanne should probably have just died during knee surgery or something. But, you know, you got to stay with the current trends, which is what they have always done. So the opioid crisis being a big thing, I guess that was an okay, to way, okay way to get rid of one of our favorite characters. But just as Hogan, the Hogan family did Valerie... The Connors are now done with Roseanne. So we're done with Roseanne, you know. Watching the family grieve was interesting because you could really see to me, I mean, these were real emotions. These people were honestly, you know, missing their friend. You know, they're going on without the person whose show, the show had her name, you know. They're having to proceed on without Roseanne. And so, you know, going through that, I think some of the funny things, one of the funniest, you know, I don't know. Was it funny? Because Becky says the only thing she wanted was the opioids that she found in the closet. So were you making light of a situation that you're saying is so serious? So it is a comedy. So I don't know, y'all. I don't know how I felt about that. I did like the way Dan kind of stepped in with little Mark where Roseanne left off and um, helped him decide who, who he was going to sit next to on the bus for the field trip and the fact that he picked the dark one like his mom was pretty interesting but all in all I really enjoyed the show of course I will be watching the Connors again next week the one thing I I made it through the whole show I didn't I didn't cry ever but I really got sad when they sat down to the table at the end and they get right there where you're expecting to see Roseanne do her, <laughs> her classic laugh and it wasn't there. It was like, oh my gosh, Roseanne's really not coming back. This is true. And then it really got sad when Dan got into bed. Because, you know, in the beginning of the show, they were talking about how Dan wasn't sleeping in the bed. And he was sleeping on the couch. I mean, for me, you die in the bed, the bed is gone. I'm not, No, I don't want the bed, you know. But anyway, so Dan gets in the bed. And when he puts his, um, puts his arm around the, the pillow kind of like she was there and he messed the side up you know so it was like you know we know we, we're gonna be okay dan's gonna be okay and we're gonna roll with the connors y'all so that's it i enjoyed it i will um see you right back here next wednesday if you're just here for the connors we're gonna do this on wednesdays oh i won't be here tomorrow y'all no let's go to work tomorrow because I'm on vacation, okay? So I will see you guys on Monday. Take care of yourselves. As always, no fear and no regrets. You're awesome. See you Monday.